Good afternoon and welcome to the 2019 GPS First 15 Rugby Season. Today we're live from the Southport School where last year's undefeated Premier's Nudgy have made the trip down the N1 in a grand final rematch. George Blake, George Neal and Zane Nongor at captain in the front row. Marlon Jones and Wilson Blythe in the second. In the back row, Michael Vanderscaife, Nyani Waters and Luke Linden. In the halves, rookie combo Hudson Meyer and Cyrus Schmidt. On the wings, Hamish Roberts and Caleb Numanu. In the centres, Jesse Gray, Jojo Fafita and rounding out the team fullback, Dion Samuela. And here come the Southport School, led by their skipper, Zane Nongor. Kicks off to the right hand side. High ball taken well by the Southport School. Very well taken, a lot of support under the shark tank here this afternoon. Ball goes a little bit around the ankles. So who's going to get the nerves out first, Darvo? And Southport still comes out of trouble. On time Ball now. hits the deck. Way up, the fullback having a look up at his defensive line. Southport score, good line of defence. Turnover, Darvo, turnover early in the game. Southport score on the attack. There's a forward to forward, Oja Nongor, the big man, the big skipper. Gets about 10 or 15 metres. That's a 22 metre line you can see just on the side of your screen. We go there, Fafita, Jojo Fafita, sorry, beg your pardon. Swing to the left hand side. Jesse Gray, the both centres working on the left and the right hand side of the ruck. Meyer looks for this big man one more time. Missed tackle. Ball's there to be presented. Out the back door, Marlon Jones. Jones rumbling through the middle. This is good phase play by the Southport schools, but Nudgy have been very patient in defence. Luke Linden. Good ball retention here, Darvo, for very early in the season. Samuela gets on the outside of his of his opposite number for feeder. And those missed tackles are racking up for the Southport School. It's three in, in their opening phases. Waters can't break the line. Nudgy, their defence last year was very, very strong. Hey, Schmidt finding the gain line. Hey, Left and right. Just ball hits the deck, probably not what they wanted this time of the about half a dozen phase in. The ball. So Samuela looking for a quick no, tap, no. taking it there, referee says no, bring that back. Just six metres out now in real striking distance for the Southport School, three minutes into this match. So George Blake throws that ball in, five metres out, ball goes to the deck, here we go, the skipper Vela looking down the left hand side of the park, Vela gets out to the 40 metre line, good defence by the Southport School, but Nudgy are on the attack, Pasatoa looking at his outside runners, Jojo Fafita. Beg your pardon. That's okay, on the right-hand side, Davo shut the gate. No great defensive tackle by the Southport School. They've come from their own try line. Small oh, knock on. I'll tell you what, that started with a Harry Vella break right in the left-hand side of the field. Big scrum, Hearn all over Meyer. Good pressure by the young halfback, and they receive a penalty. Receive a penalty, Davo not releasing. We go back to 2019. Up the top, oh. rumbling through the middle now. This is where patience are key for both teams. The ball's at the back for Nudgy. Southport School getting under the, underneath the Nudgy forward pack, but Nudgy rolling forward. Luke Linden straight through ball the middle. Tackle there. Referee calls balls out there. Two centers collide in the middle. That's the first try of this night. Young Lastus Aokai flashing through the line for Nudgy's first points. So Pasatella, with plenty of pressure there, makes no mistake this time. So Samuela with a deep kickoff, taken by Jock Thompson. Good defence 
inside. For the Southport school, but Nudgy retained the ball back. Looking two passes out the right hand side. A good little run. No, sorry. Here we go again. Ulia. Ulia. He's got. He's got. Oh, but right doesn't need him. Doesn't use him. He couldn't find Athen Wire stalling up on the outside. Yeah. 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 Oh. Well, referee had no choice then. Darvo of uh, Nagani Waters all over that ball, and that's a great open side flank as Pilfer. So pressure by the Southport School. Ball comes back for Hearn. Hearn finds his fly half. Awaki. Hearn looking for the big men, but this time the ball goes down. Referee says no play on. Caught it round his ankles. No. Pastor wrestled out of some really rough contact there. Aaliyah, short ball. He can also pass this afternoon. He's not just a runner with the ball. Hearn looking for his forwards. Going in that right-hand side of the channel. Tough carry from Villa. Jock Thompson been very busy this afternoon. No hand the big brand. blonde head, blind side flanker. Will Jones, his first carry of the day. Just some short passing. Here we go. Oh, one one more time. Ball. The ball's come down. Referee says, what are we going to do here? Papaya. <laughs> big clean out by Ulia coming flying in. They're finding numbers on the left hand side. Pastor, brutal with that right arm. But Southport wrestled him to ground. Nagamu no, no, says, no. come here. He's had no space at all so far. This 10 minutes, Rishan Pastor. Southport neutralizing him very well. That man we talked about before, Navanga Totoa. Thompson wrestles through. He's copped some big shots so far, the former Southport School student lining up now for Nudgee College. You need to make a better effort to get the ball. So Southport score great in defence. Referee says no. Small knock on, but that's good defence. That's patience. George Blake there, Darvo. Got right under the ribs and forced the error. Yeah, these nudgy centres doing very, very well. Schmidt finds his centre pairing of Gray, but this time knocks that ball down. Coming out of trouble. Southport won't want to let any easy yards. Pass the toe with a big ball. right foot kick. I think the first now. kick of the day from Nudgee College, nearly 10 minutes in. Hamish Roberts on the left hand side, right foot chip over the top. He needs the bounce, he gets the bounce, he gets the bounce. He's been tackled by, off the ball. Jones, big Lee, Marlon Jones, Lee. where did he come from? Oh. Nudgee support play, Southport support play so good. Leek Linden now, pops it away. Pops it to Nongor. That's the try line there. Good job, Sick. Thompson all over the ball. Referee says that's okay. Pick and drive. Try time. Great first try by Luke Linden. So Roberts makes no mistake with the conversion. So One pass, try apiece. So pass a toa. A little bit too deep for his liking. Well taken. Ball goes back very sloppily. Schmidt. Stay I think the full moon might have come out for a moment there. Onside now. Pasatawa referee says, no, that's okay. He looks up. Left foot step. Big contact by Nongor. Not the man you want to run into. The 130 kilo tight head prop. You could have chosen someone smaller than that. Play on, we say. Mitch Lowry. Hearn finds his captain Vela, the big fella Vela. Looking on the right hand side, right foot step. Gets over the gain line, swinging arm there. Doesn't contact. Backwards. By Vanderscaif. Daniel Lamol looks like quite the player for Nudgee College in the second row. One to keep an eye on. That's a great kick. Samuela looking up. Inside is 22. Inside. Plenty of time to kick that ball. Very good purchase. It doesn't go out. Just <laughs> accelerates into contact. Why well, just wants to go straight into that contact? Give the ball to me, Roberts. Sorry, Jock Thompson. Beg your pardon. Trying to get one on one here, but again, Amu. He is equal to the task. Darvo, very good defender. This number fourteen. 
And the Southport School really getting up off their line now, dropping the shoulders in defence. Lowakai can't find a way through. So Mitch Lowry trying to playing the offloads too. On the right hand side, Dara, there's numbers here. There's an inside runner. The ball is good pass. Knock on, oh. unfortunately, there for the nudgy supporters. But there's some metres getting gained down the right hand side, Nick. I tell you what, that left hand Southport School defence is being exposed at present. There's a good take from Blythe at the top. Oh. Steady hands. So Blythe takes that ball down. Seven out now. Control here by Southport School. Leave Southport have control. Nudgy not committing to this breakdown now. Schmidt finds his outside centre, but then Samuela chiming to the back line. Nothing much happening at the moment. Schmidt tries to get one on one with Mapai. Nongor trying to take Ooh. the middle of the field there, but the... Nudgy. Just takes two or three with him every single time, doesn't he? Luke Linden never far behind with that pick and drive. Scored a try just moments ago with it. Inside ball. Two for feeder. Vander Scaife. Looks like that's his side of the field this afternoon, Darvo. That's his channel. Samuela, first receiver. Left foot step. Tries to look for the offload. Can't find anyone. Nudgy all over the top of that ball. Referee says no play on. Schmidt looks for his number eight, Linden. Linden being supported by George Neal. Schmidt looks to kick, puts it on the left foot. Will it be a bit too far, finds it. It is, that's a mistake. That's a big mistake, goes right back to the 22, or where he kicked it from, sorry. He's gonna partner Rashan Pasatola, didn't get that chance, he had to wait a year. Here he is now feeding that scrum. So the Southport School with a big shove, and get a penalty. Referee has not tolerated any rubbish in that front row today. And Nongor signals to the posts. Absolutely, it's a well-drilled front row for sure. The Shark Tank goes quiet, strikes it one more time. So the scores go, Southport schools 10, Nudgy 7, 22 minutes gone. Charlie Hayes goes up at number two, Pasatawa. Looks for his centre combination. Well, it's no. Titi Nofong and Totoa there. Fighting through midfield. 40 metres out. So finds his fly half. Dummy runners on the left and right hand side. Oh. Mapai, good tackle. I'll tell you what. Now, Amu on this side of the right of the field. Davo, he is a very good defender. Just offloading. Just... Two passes on the right hand side. Flick pass again. Nofunga Totoa gets over the gain line Jeez. by about 10 or 15 metres. Big and strong and threatening on that right edge. Every time he looks to get that arm free, as Lamol takes it into contact. So Nudgy have got very deep back line to the left. They go to the right hand side. Hoo hoo! Aokai met strongly. Will Jones. Been very busy this afternoon in the tight Jones. A yeah, high tackle on our card we can go back for. So, goes over the back. Picked up by Linden, the try scorer this afternoon. Box kick. Bye bye. No. Oh. Good take. Caleb Numanu, very strong in the air as well as defensively. Short ball, wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Jesse Gray. Just having a look on the left and right hand side. Getting on, Samuela. Samuela puts it on the right foot. He goes, it's gonna be a foot race. It's a foot race. Who's gonna be the man who gets it? He picked up, it's gonna be a try. Try. Nick Davaniza, there's a try. From one end of the field to the other. Southport School, 15, Nudgy seven. And we're gonna go back to replay right here. We see a Sam Weller just darting everywhere. Puts it on the boot and just puts it on a plate, you've got to say, for Hamish Roberts to get that chase going. Daniel Muller, who's exposed Roberts a bit down this right end edge in the first couple of minutes. He's got one back, Mr. Roberts. Let's look at the Southwood crowd. It's 
to tell you about the roof of the Nathan Sharp Leadership Grandstand here at the Southport School. It's tapered to a point, so the sound reverberates within it. Makes for one hell of an atmosphere. So Southport School coming out of trouble after, after scoring points. Dummy that Wilson Blythe as well, he had no idea. Meyer looking for Woo. Samuela one more time. Big kick. Taken well. Nathan Wire. Wire. Wire can't make too many more meters. Pasatoa wants to go down the right hand side. Not for under Totoa against Vanderscape. I'm sure those two names have come together many times. His older rendition though last year for Michael. The Southport School with a good line of defense. Oh, Caleb Nimani shut that down from a mi mile away. Like a heat seeking missile off the right wing. Nimanu hits and sticks, doesn't he, every single time? Well, when your older brother's an Australian schoolboy back rower, you would think he's got some tackling in the backyard. So coming out of the line was George Blake against his more fancy, Rajan Pasatoa. Finn Hearn trying to get them out of trouble. And it's scrappy for Nunji. This big defense is taking its toll, Awakai. snapping them out of their structures. Oh, good defense by the Southport School getting underneath, but, but Nudgy get that ball back. Referee looking at Pasatoa. Pasatoa taking on his smaller opposition. Gets over the gain line. Ball's a bit slow. Had some luck on that right-hand side, Darva, but Southport School seemed to have fixed those problems defensively. Mitch Lowry, the number seven. And the instruction from the Southport to a grandstand. All you boys get louder. They want to ride their team home. So that Muller, the right-hand side winger, coming in to take some pressure off his forwards. Big contact in the middle of the park. Charlie Hayes. Numbers running through. That's is that Will Jones there, Darvo, taking a big, dirty run. Goes on the right foot boot. Will that ball kick up just the bottom, beats him to the sideline. We see Nudgee have gone side to side, just searching for opportunities, and the opportunities aren't coming through the middle of the field. The big Southport defence really stimming Nudgee's attack. As we see Finn Hearn go short for Awakai. Awakai crash ball, short ball, inside ball. Is that an early tackle? Referee says no, that was just at the same time. This time, no mistake by Jock Thompson. Two passes out to the middle of the park. Southport School equal to the task for that tackle. Thompson, outside ball. There's numbers Ooh, on the right hand side here. here. Inside ball. Tackle Southport point. defensively, very good to shut that down. And there didn't seem to be any panic at all there by the Southport School diver. They were very, very calm in defence. Oh, Nudgy still on back through Jock Thompson. Thompson takes that. Ten seconds to go. This could be a game breaker. This is the, the championship minutes. Another effective carry by Lamol. lamol has been very good this afternoon. Ball Ooh. goes back. Pasatoa looks up and around. He sees what's in front of him. Breaks two, breaks three. It's taken by two more defenders. Referee must be looking at his clock for time. That's the try line just on the left-hand side, you can see. Pick and drive by Lowry. Mitch Lowry's only going to get to the posts. Patience now from both Nudgy and the Southport oh, School. Jones gets close. Referee says on the post is a try. You called that one early, Nick Darvaniza. I think it's going to be Titi Nofuonga Totoa standing up with five points to his name. Makes no mistake. One Jean point separates. Here we go. Kick off by Samuela. Looking for Wilson Blythe in the air. Knocked back but taken. Knock on. Some hey. wonderful defensive play. Oh, and the scrum there, Georgie Blake. So that's a dominant scrum by the Southport School, but referee Lee says, no, we'll, we'll have that one again. So, great scrummage there, referee is letting the, the head rest at the moment, which I thought was outlawed, but kicks down the park. 
Dion Samuela now. He's been good this afternoon. It's Jojo Fafita, there he goes. His first carry of the game. Yeah, Jojo Fafita has been very quiet this afternoon. Been doing a lot of defence though. So Fafita taking that into the half of Naji Nongo. Taking the ball. Followed closely by Linden, of course. Schmidt looking for his runners. Finds them. Pick and drive. Marlon Jones. Inside out. No runners there. Keeps going over the 10 yards. Good running by a smaller player there, Darvo, and very heavy traffic. Yeah, for sure. Hudson Meyer can't find any of his runners. Overshot it. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. George Blake's in everything this afternoon. Southport School just need to probably reassess a few things at the moment. It's going to be a little bit clunky. Nongor goes up the middle, rumbling. Oh, no. Just and there's little, a knock on. And we said just a little bit resetting and slowing things down. Quick tap. Finds his fly half. Two passes out to the wing. There's a foot race. There's a foot race. Oh. Just a pop ball. That's a great pop. Can't get that other ball away, but... Quick thinking, that was seems like nothing got on the left-hand side, and Nudgy made an absolute treat of that opportunity. So Vanderscape comes down with it. Vanderscape, one more, this time in attack. Very good, just before half-time. Short ball, defensively solid, but... Jojo Fafita going straight through Rajan Pasatoa. So maybe this is Fafita's half. Tries to put the get the kick on the fly. Well presented back by the Nudgy. Slow to get on side, Nudgy College. Jock Thompson. I tell you what, we've called his name a fair bit this afternoon. He runs, he tackles, he passes. Very busy. Mitch Lowry. There's some very colourful he headgear, Mitch Lowry. Oh, he hits a brick wall. He hits a wall called Nongo. You see on the left and the right hand side of the scrum. So options either side for the Southport School. They decide to go right. That's Short mine. ball to Gray. Gray beats a tackle. He beats two. He can't beat the third. That's the 22 metre line. Looking to the left hand side, Nongor. Zane Nongor. Nongor one more time. Five metres out. Patience here from the Southport School's needed. Pick and drive. Nudgy have been good in defence now. Marlon Jones. Jones can't find the line. Well presented though. Nongor who started this raid. Plenty of bodies in there. Looking to the right hand side. Short oh. ball to Wilson Blythe. Popped a ball. Another great defensive effort by Nudgy. God, nearly a highlight reel moment from the Southwood School. Just that little interchange of passes. It very nearly unlocked the Nudgy defense. It's a good scrum by the Southport School. Comes out the back door. Hasatoa finds plenty on that. Plenty on that. That's a great kick out of trouble. That's exactly what you need for your experienced fly half. Goes over the back. Inside ball. There's a scrum half. He should have given the ball, but there's a missed tackle. It's going to be a try, is it? No, short. Referee says no, knock on. Oh, and a knock on. How the fortunes change. Hudson Meyer looking like Tony Woodcock in the 2011 Grand Final through the middle. There's where Nofa Ongotatoa, if the scrum's going oh. backwards, he needs to pick that ball up. But no, it's a penalty now. That's pressure. That's pressure. Well, referee had no other choice there, Darvo, but to penalise Nudgy in that scenario. George Blake, Zane Nongor and George Neal against Jones, Nutley and Vela. And what an angle to view the battle right here. Goes out the back. Double pump. And that's a great defensive read by the Nudgy inside centre. Well, there's no ruck there. Nudgy could have jumped on that ball. So pick up by Marlon Jones, I believe. Southport now inches away. Ooh. Ball goes too high. That's a big pressure relief for the Nudgy team. That's a round one mistake, isn't it? But Nudgy can... Samuela. Roberts. Roberts on the outside. Try time. Winger to... No. Forward pass. forward pass, winger to winger. Jeez, I tell you what. No doubt a very important scrum as Finn Hearn feeds. Picked up by the number eight. Offloads. 
Awakai, one direction. <laughs> Awakai, he, there was no choice. He was going straight. Waia kicks that ball into, into touch. So Blythe taking that down. Oh, and Nudgy may have sacked that rolling ball. Maya looking around. Find Schmidt. Great to Fafita. Fafita wrapped up. Been very quiet this afternoon. Jojo Fafita. Prop to prop. How good's this? The two props combining a lot of time this afternoon. Linden, one of the try scorers in the first half. Can't break the tackle. Opposite number. Not for Unka Totoa. He's made a bunch of tackles teeting off along its tour. Jesse Gray. He's been very present on attack and defence for Nudgy. Halfback sniping inside. Oh, ball. space! Marlon Jones after the open side flanker. Jones with that little bit of a deft pass on the inside. Zane Nongbo fixing the, the hole there. Blythe. Well, Larry's got his hands on. What a turnover from Mitch Larry. So Ronan Nutley, very famous name in Queensland Rugby League stakes as well. Goes off the top. Jock Thompson out to his scrum half. Shows and goes. That man needs to have his hands on the ball more. Big Good crash goal. ball. No for Unka Totoa. No for Unka Totoa finds some space. And looks to the right. Finds Will Jones has recovered from an earlier injury. Around. The other prop is Fella. Some hard yards by the Nudgy front rowers. Getting some easy yards on the right hand side. I think that's Jones again putting his hand up for a carry. So Pasatoa. Strikes it. Makes no mistake this time. So, Nudgy. 17, Southport schools 15. Overthrow, but there we Harry Vella cleans up at the back. Probably wasn't the intended jumper in the line out. Pasatel with a big right foot boot. Doesn't want to, would like to have that one over again. Taken by Roberts, who a few minutes ago was on the ground. Here's that man for Fida. The Fida breaks a tackle inside ball. Great defense by Nudgy one more time. Ball goes over, yes, there we go. Maya takes a very heavy hit. But the Southport School supporters are really, Ooh. really, really loud. Harry Vella not shy and dropping the shoulder there either. So Luke Linden plays a very tight number eight, which is very good. George Blake. Blake a little bit too upright in that defense of the tackle. Not the greatest pass in the world like that back over Jesse Gray. Gray get met by Nafunga Totoa. The fly half gets into scrum half. Roberts. Roberts offloads to his winger who's popped up that side again. Roberts has obviously got a roaming. Wow. You've got carte blanche. Do whatever you like this afternoon. A fine carry from Caleb Namanu as well. Blythe. Blythe taking the middle of the field. Takes three or four defenders. And this is getting really promising for Southport. And that was a great, great run by Blythe. Roberts strikes it, makes no mistake. Hamish Roberts puts Southport schools 18, Nudgy 17. Rajan Pasatoa, the veteran. Fly half has to take control. Well taken. Wilson Blythe, go up and get it, son. So this is where TSS will need to get to their kick. Nongo, quick hands. Puts on the right boot. They like the right hand side on the boot this afternoon. They must see something down there. And the forwards flood in. They stole it back. So Zane Nongo picks up. Tackled by Mapa. The fresh legs, exactly what you need with under 10 minutes to go. George Blake passing 
out the back door. That's Van der Scaife. He's finding numbers. There's Hamish Roberts. He can't do anything wrong this afternoon. Roberts passes on the inside. Defence is good by Nudgy. They've turned it over, but no, not out of danger yet. Uli is back for the clearance kick. Right foot oh, kick. He, he won't find touch. He wanted that to go out. Samuela has hit the deck. The ball looking up. What's going to happen now? Samuela looks at the defensive line of the Nudgy team. Left foot, right foot step. Can't beat the defense of Nudgy. Nongor goes one more time. Nongor with the offload. The offload. Popped the ball to George Blake. They're Styles starting to Schmidt. run. Here's Roberts. He puts it on the right foot. It goes out. Nick Darvaniza. It's you, all happening. You can feel the temperature rising, the pressure on everyone. Nudgy Southport, the fans, the commentators, we're all feeling it. Goes straight off the top. Hearn with a great pass to his flank, uh, uh, sorry, his fly half. A settler in the middle of the park. Oh, a bit of a stumble. A wobble from Pasator. Hamish Roberts finds Dion Samuela. Just a, a shimmy and a whoosh. Contact by the front rowers. That's the skipper, Vela. Hits and sticks. Finn Hearn. Hits and sticks again. Mapa, like we said, the fresh legs has been very good since coming on. Blake slips out of one. George Blake. Nudgy will not want any penalties here. Schmidt. Been directing traffic all afternoon. Been very solid. Samuela goes in the first receiver. Shows a dummy. Samuela. Samuela. He pops. He just pops up exactly where they need him. No way. Nudgy College, the defense. Well, it opened up like the Red Sea for Dion Samuela, but the Nudgy back rowers closed the hole again. Again, defensively, what Nudgy very patient. Show and go. Stands up two of them. Dion Samuela, he's away. A great tackle there from Robert Marpa to bring him to ground. And then Nudgy College just get their hands on the ball. So just under four minutes to go in this round one oh, clash. It's a cacophony. We could see in the corner of your screen, Carol Boss, one of the coaches here at Southport School. Legend of club rugby, very serious. Ronan Nutley throwing the ball in. Ball goes over the back. Oh, that's class. Perfect. Exactly what you want this time. Go back to the same play. Take that middle third of the field. Referee says advantage. Pasatoa. 40 metres out from in front. That's in Pasatoa's range if Nudgy can't do something here. Is that... Ooh, oh, that's, a, that's an ugly looking challenge. Right foot step by Hearn. Can't find any more room there. Over the 22 metre line. The pick and drive by the forwards. No scrum half at the moment. It's a patience game from Nudgy College right now. Any score will do. Jock Thompson, been very patient this afternoon. Will Jones, who was heavily hit by Nongor before. Nongor in the tackle. Southport School will not want to give away any penalties in this situation. If they do, that could be game over. Comes right through the middle of the ruck. Pick and drive. They want to be on top of the ball here, Nudgy. Oh, no support there. They were very lucky that time, Darvo. It, ar it arrives in time. Nudgy getting very close indeed. Tavita Mapa. They can smell the chalk. That's a penalty. That's exactly what Nudgy wanted. The patience, Nick Darvaniza. Exactly what. 90 seconds to go. Jean Pasatoa. Strikes it. And for the quietness from this side, for the loudness of the other side, Pasatoa makes no mistake. So 20 points to 18. This could be the last chance saloon for the Southport School. Knock on by Naji. This could be the last chance, exactly right, Darbo. What can they do from here, Nongor? The skipper, Nongor, takes 10 metres. 
Oh, the crowd are riding the Southport Schools team home. Schmidt with a crash ball to Linden. Linden has been solid all afternoon. And Nudgy, after 35 minutes of defending, what is left in the tank? No penalties here from the coaching staff and every Nudgy supporter. Pick and drive by the Southport School. George Blake, contact by the big men on the left-hand side of the park. Southport School hoping for a penalty. Can we see our referee looking for his stopwatch anytime soon? Schmidt, crash ball for Fafita. Yes, Fafita, off offload. Southport need a bit more patience than this. They don't need to hit a home run straight away. So the big man Nongor finds his number eight partner. Linden, they've been like shoulder to shoulder all afternoon. Zane Nongor and Luke Linden. Samuela coming into first receiver. Nudgy won't be committing to this breakdown, Darvo. No penalties needed here. As a shark tank in full force trying to support their team. And in full voice as well, they're singing, just willing their team onwards. Marlon Jones. As that stopwatch ticks ever onward. So Linden, all they're trying to do is just that jab, jab, punch. Wilson Blythe. Oh, it's getting desperate. That's a, it's a play the on. The ball's to the out. Have Nudgy won this back? There's hands all over it. Oh, it's going to come back. So Southport not done yet. The Southport school with the last chance. Nudgy again not committing to the breakdown. Oh, Henry, there's a penalty! It's a penalty, Nick Darvaniza. Nick Darvaniza. That is exactly what the Southport school had wanted. Now the angle is not too kind. They're about four, oh, I'd say 12 meters in from the sideline and only eight or nine meters in from the 40. It's a tough kick. Well, how many times has it gone down to the wire like this? The entire Southport school just put pressure on you, Darvo. Hamish Roberts. Strikes it. That's gone straight through the middle of the post. That's it. Straight through. Redemption in round one of the competition. The Southport School. Hamish Roberts, a hero. 21-20. 21-20. The Southport School, the boys, they want to storm the field. They want to be with their team. Champions. Revenge. The Southport School, what courage to fight the way they did all second half. And when they couldn't land that finishing blow, they saved it to the last minute. One of the toughest kicks you'll see all year to snatch the win. And look at just trying to hold the hundreds of Southport School. Boys, they're rumbling. <laughs> they want to go. They're ready. And they're gone. Absolutely sensational. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Oh, how can you not smile?